verse 13. The Bible says, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me. And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. And then he suffered him, or permitted him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. It's always exciting to have a baptism. And baptism is first of all for believers, not babies. It's immersion and not sprinkling. It's the picture of the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ, and not the washing away of sin. And we, we think of Jesus being baptized in the River Jordan by John the Baptist. He was 30 years old, and he wasn't sprinkled. He was baptized by immersion. He didn't need to be saved, but the Bible says he did it to what? Fulfill all righteousness. He did it for obedience. And so we appreciate uh, Wayne and Brittany, Shirley, getting saved and then uh, coming. Now, I want to be obedient to believers' baptism. I don't even want to wait to the end of the month. We'd like to be baptized in the river, and uh, we appreciate that spirit. And uh, so uh, this is what we call believers' baptism, to picture the death and burial and resurrection of Christ. And the picture that we want to die to sin and self and the world and the old nature as we come up out of the water and telling, telling the world that we want to live for the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's a, like a wedding ring. A wedding ring doesn't save you or let you know that you're married. But it's an indication that others realize that you have uh, been married. And baptism indicates that you have been saved. So we welcome to the waters of baptism today. <coughs> Brittany? <laughs> One more step. <laughs> Mr. and Weber forgot to put the heater on. It's not too bad, though. You want Shirley, you know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. She was, she was uh, saved on July 5th, baptized on the 14th. Upon profession of faith in Jesus Christ, and I'll baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in baptism, risen to newness of life in Christ. Jesus Christ is your personal Savior. Yes, it is. Upon profession of your faith in Jesus Christ, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Buried with Him in baptism. Oh. Risen to the newness of life in Christ. I'm glad I'm a Christian. I'm glad I'm a Christian. I'm trusting the Lord. I'm living my body. 